Hello Outer Banks Realtor friends, I'm Lee Brown from Concord and this year I am the chair of the North Carolina Realtors Political Action Committee Trustees, which is a lot of words to say that one of my jobs this year is to help all of my North Carolina Realtor family stay engaged politically. In fact, coming off of last year, I think everybody wanted a break from politics but here's the crazy part, it never stops. It's like your real estate business. Y'all are unemployed every single day when you wake up and you have to go recreate buyers and sellers to make your business flourish over the long run. Politics is exactly the same way. If we as realtors take a year off from the political action work that we do, whoo, we did not know what would happen in Raleigh because in Raleigh, as y'all know, sometimes their ears get turned off and they forget to listen to us. However, the realtors in North Carolina, we are one of the largest grassroots organizations and largest associations. So my sisters and brothers, they hear us when we come to the table. So in the Outer Banks, it's super crazy important that y'all stay very active and engaged with our political advocacy efforts because you are so affected when they make arbitrary decisions in Raleigh. A couple of the things that we are working for in this current time is to work on property insurance rates. Y'all know that the insurance company really wants higher rates and that affects affordability, it affects your client's ability to buy and sell, and it can mess with your business. In fact, the insurance company requested a 35% increase in rates. Yeah, 35. The realtors did a lot of work to combat that because the insurance industry forgets that that money's got to come from some homeowner somewhere. So now what's being proposed is actually an 11% decrease. That all happens because of the work that our realtors do in front of our legislators to help them understand that all of these things they discuss about money affect actual homeowners. Y'all, that's why our job is so critical. That's why we need you active and engaged. They hear us because we speak for thousands and thousands of people whose lives we touch when we handle the financial instrument that is their houses. The other thing we're fighting right now is, of course, those flood maps. Y'all know this comes up all the time. On the national level, we are working right now with Congress and the Senate to make sure that we get reauthorization of the flood program because that comes up in September. Outside of that, here locally, they want to change your elevation maps and mess with things. We are committed to making them leave the maps alone because y'all know when they move the maps, it really is a negative effect, especially on fixed income people who can't take the new rates. And if we mess with our flood rates and maps on second homes, y'all, those second home buyers, they will go to Tennessee or South Carolina or Florida and avoid us and we want them here. And speaking of those second homeowners and that money that comes into our economy during tourist season, the school calendar issue came up again here just recently, just like clockwork, it's always coming up that some legislator somewhere wants us to change the school calendars. And what they forget in the middle of the state is that messing with the school calendars is millions of dollars in impact to y'all's economy because that high season is critical to making that resort market work. And I say that as somebody who owns a beach house I don't want them messing with high season either. I love that we have so many visitors from other states that come to North Carolina and also North Carolina families who want to vacation at the coast. So the realtors are committed to maintaining the school calendar to protect your local economy. There was a big issue a while back about redistributing sales tax across counties. That's not in the forefront at this particular second in time, but we are staying alert on that issue in the event that it comes back. In fact, that brings up a really important thing you should know about your political group here and how we are working on behalf of all realtors. We're not just on defense. We're not just looking for legislation that gets filed so that we can then make a decision about what to do. We are on the offense. So we have the best legislative staff of any state out there. Their ears are to the ground and they're building relationships with legislators from across the state so that we know when to be on offense. What are they proposing that's crazy talk that would not be good for property owners and good for realtors? And we go to bat on those issues before it ever hits the newspaper. That's just a couple of things going on. That doesn't even touch the fact that signage restrictions have been coming up across the Outer Banks. We don't want them messing with signage. Nags Head has issues with trash collection and other things that can affect the cost of owning property. We want to make sure that there's not extra burdens being put on property owners. All of that, y'all, 
is why I'm asking you to support the Realtor Political Action Committee. You might have heard us talk about it and thought it was just dealing with the people in Washington, D.C. Well, yes, a portion of your investment does go to the national efforts of realtors, and that's where we are 1.2 million realtors strong. We are the world's largest grassroots organization, and when we go to Washington, they listen. However, another chunk of the money that you invest in the PAC goes to Raleigh so that we can work on North Carolina-wide issues that affect the broad economy, that bring in jobs and affect how people live. And then a portion of your money stays local. So in 2017, you might have thought this was a relaxation year, but we have municipal elections coming up. And it's very interesting to realize that we get obsessed with national politics, but the place it hits our pocketbooks and affects our businesses is local. So I'm gonna ask y'all to invest in the Political Action Committee. And we're asking you to invest at at least a $15 level. So if you're a new realtor or somebody who's trying to get their feet under them, I know that it's hard to invest in political work because you're focused on investing in your business. But I want you to remember that investing in the PAC is an investment in your business. Because if we lose any of these property rights issues, it hurts sales, that hurts you. If we lose our fight to preserve our rights to be independent contractors, your business will lose. So you invest now to protect yourself against the future. It is you being on the offense as a realtor for your business and for your consumers. If you're an established realtor who's making a really good living at this, I'm gonna ask you to be a major investor. And don't do this at me. I'm gonna tell you, I put my money where my mouth is. I am a Platinum R Realtor. That means I invest $10,000 annually in our political efforts. And yes, I do sell a lot of houses and I'm honored to be able to protect our industry on the highest level possible. I'd love to talk to you about why I spend my money there because I wanna preserve your job and my job. And I wanna be able to walk into every listing appointment and tell my consumers that I will do more than put a sign in their yard. I will do more than put their house on a website. I am the realtor who's going to preserve their right to buy and sell the house they're sitting in right now. There's no bigger message you can give to a consumer than that you are the realtor who is more than houses, who is a complete realtor, who is vested in the local community. You're serving on planning boards. Maybe you're like Monica and you are serving in elected office. We wanna support and preserve those relationships support and preserve property rights, and support and preserve you. So I want you to consider being a major investor at $1,000 or up. If you're not there yet, I'm gonna ask you for $15 as a fair share contribution. And more importantly, I wanna ask you to invest in your community. If you can go to a school board meeting or a town hall meeting, please go. Wear your Realtor R pins so that all those elected officials will know that you're paying attention and that you will tell consumers what's happening. I also want you to come to Raleigh when we have our Hill Visit Day. That will happen, and we need you there. We have some amazing, dedicated volunteers who are there all the time from the Outer Banks, but we need you too. We need fresh faces. We need as many bodies as possible there to walk in these rooms in mass and show our legislators that we are putting our money where our mouth is, and we're putting our mouth where our money is. Outer Banks Realtors, I'm so proud to have you all as part of our North Carolina Realtor family. I'm excited to hear how many of you step up to the plate to support our industry, remembering that if we don't support our industry today, it might not be there tomorrow, but I'd like to have a place in North Carolina where my children can buy a house here in Concord or buy a house out at the Outer Banks and that your kids will have the same opportunity too. And I can't wait to see you all in Raleigh.